Well, 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 looky what we have here, Left 4 Dead 2. If you can believe this, I posted my last Left 4 Dead video all the way back in April of this year. Damn, the time sure as hell flies by. But enough of that, today we are going for all 101 achievements on Steam to prove that I still got the zombie killing skills with me and showcase that I do in fact grind hard as hell. But before you go commenting like, Yoma, don't you know that there is an achievement that is literally impossible? Why yes, nerd. I made up, I do know of this achievement, and I'll explain later in the video what it's all about and why I just don't give a damn. But before we get into this madness, make sure to subscribe, like, and come on over to my Twitch channel. Y'all are missing some of the best moments of these videos with the live reactions, and I heard you become a cool kid by clicking the follow button. But nonetheless, let me take you all through the journey of grinding zombie kills, achievements, and playing with friends in one of the best zombie games of all time, Left 4 Dead 2. Okay, so knowing that there are 101 achievements to go through, don't be angry if I don't explain every single detail about your favorite precious achievements. And luckily being on Steam, I was able to start from scratch by relocking every single achievement so I can get them all in one go. And you might be wondering why I only kept one achievement unlocked out of the 101. It's because it was my very first achievement unlock back in 2013. Bro, do you know how long ago that shit was? The word selfie literally was the word of the year according to Oxford Dictionary and Vine was actually created in January of 2013. Yeah, I'm f***ing old, man. But the achievement is for collecting like three gifts dropped by Special Infected or something. I don't know. And there was another achievement that I should note called Ghost of Christmas Present, which is one of those trickle-down achievements by playing with other online players. And little known fact, I am the holder of this achievement. As in, I got this game back in 2013 for free during the Christmas holidays, so if you were a player that didn't have this achievement, all you had to do was play with me, beat a campaign, and you got the achievement. Unfortunately, I would have to give up my gatekeeping ways because once I unlock this achievement, I can't give others the same opportunity to unlock for themselves. Man, this Christmas sucks. So overall, I relocked every single achievement minus the memorable one, and then we got started. Other than that Christmas gift achievement, I unlocked our first official achievement called No Malone, which is a reference to Home Alone, and it is significant because back in 2020, Gabe Newell launched this gnome into space for a charity event. So that's pretty cool. And all you must do to unlock this is to just launch the game. Easy peasy. And the first plan of action is to beat every single campaign on Expert and at least one campaign on Expert Realism. Every campaign has an ending unlock and a big boy achievement for beating all campaigns on Expert. I went from top to bottom and started the fantastic campaigns starting with Dead Center. Other than getting shot by my teammates, but well, there's probably gonna be a lot of things that I'm sucking. We stumbled upon a tank and I decided to throw a bio bomb to get the septic tank achievement. We grabbed some cola for our camped up dude to clear the way and I guess I got voted out and killed for being weird. Then we made our way through the mall for some scary encounters. And before we got into the big finale, I deployed some incendiary ammo for my team, which led to an achievement. And while trying to fill up this car to get the hell out of Dodge, I shot a jockey off my teammate within two seconds. And just like that, we all four escaped without dying in the finale, which landed me the price chopper achievement and it helped my teammates out because i gave them that ghost of christmas present achievement too and yeah you guys got the ghost of christmas you're welcome so if you all needed your proof that i was the holder of that achievement then there you go and my dumbass thinking decided to up the ante after dead center's expert campaign i felt like it was way too easy you know so i chose to knock out the achievement the real deal which obviously wants us to complete a campaign on expert realism realism mode makes this game extremely hardcore Zombies take less body damage, there are no outlines around teammates, which is insta-kill, friendly fire is deadly, zombies do more damage to you, and once you die, you can't respawn unless it's from a defibrillator. And oh man, I really, really messed up this time. I wasn't told this until halfway through, but I chose one of the hardest maps to complete on expert realism, the Dark Carnival. And to give you an idea of how hard this is, in the first section of Dark Carnival, I was the only survivor to the safe house. What the hell? Run, run. Book it, book it, book it. I'm sorry, Presh. 
we did it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just getting started. Also, my dumb brain decided to be dumb again. I thought it would be nice to get the gnome while playing so we could get the achievement guardian gnome. I legit thought this was a brilliant idea and looking back now, I'm so sorry team, which this brilliant idea of mine would end up with us losing hours of progress because we died over and over trying to make it to the safe room with the gnome intact. Go, 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 Please, go, oh my god, go, go, the, the, the gnome. Don't forget the gnome! Oh! <laughs> Why does this matter, you may ask? Well, this whole damn campaign took us two and a half hours to complete. A single campaign took us two and a half hours when the first campaign that we just did only took us 38 minutes. What the hell is wrong with me? But before we got to the end of this nightmare, I was still headstrong about keeping the gnome with us. I honked the noses of 10 clowns, shot a spitter before she could spit on us, and unfortunately, we brought the gnome all the way to the finale just to forget to pick him up, so rest in pieces, Gnomi the homie. Oh, Jesus! Oh my god. Well, that's official RIP Gnome. Rip. Rest in pieces. And honestly, it's okay, because we have to make him survive all the way. And I could show you guys clips of me dying over and over, but here's a good example of how fast you can lose your game. I just all tabbed again! Why to do that? Bro, it all tabbed me! But after all that mess, I got an achievement for defibbing one of my teammates while a tank was near, and finally, after two hours, we had the best run of our lives. Get on the run, 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 run! Get on! I'm coming. Press, where are you? What the shit? What? Where are you? I got stuck on it. it Let's go! Oh my god. That was insane. How long? I gotta see the stats here. Oh my god. We all survived. That took us two hours. Now, unlocking the real deal and Midnight Rider achievements made sense, but how the hell did I unlock Rocky Horror Picture Throw at the same time? Well, let's real rind. Let's real rind. Let's wheel what? Let's real rind real quick. Let's. Oh my god. Well, let's rewind real quick. Oh, what the? Let's rewind. Oh my, well, let's rewind real quick. Oh my God, that was hard to say. Right as my last teammate was jumping into the helicopter, I shot the tank's rock throw as soon as it landed. Easy, the most accidental achievement I've ever gotten. But with that horrifying journey over, it's time to ramp up these achievement unlocks. The next campaign is Swamp Fever. We did this campaign in one shot. It wasn't too hard or too easy, just an averagely fun experience all the way up until we got to the finale. Which way is he coming? Oh, almost dead. Wait, there's two? Oh, this is bad. I'm trying, I'm slow as balls. Oh, what the I'm down. But even after that fiasco, we still got past the tanks and made it to our rescue vehicle for the campaign achievement. The next campaign that I personally think is a banger was Hard Rain. After loading into the game, I immediately grabbed a shovel and destroyed this construction worker's face to unlock the achievement for killing each type of uncommon infected. Soon after that, I loaded incendiary ammo into 50 common infected, and after getting past all the roaming witches, the elevator sequence, and the special infected, we made it into the safe house for the sob story achievement for getting through this section without a witch being killed. Continuing into hard rain, we would be met with an awesome finale with extremely hard rain. Thank you, thank you, I'll be here all night. But during this night, I've been consistently using a chainsaw to destroy fools to inevitably land the achievement chain of command for killing 100 common infected with it. And while we were waiting for the escape boats, a lot of things got out of hand. Easy clap. Oh no! Come on, no, no! Get in here! Get in here! No, you're joking. R.I.P. Oh, rest in peace. Oh, man. In memory of Apollo. 
rest in peace homie but enough of that our next campaign is the parish i absolutely love the vibe of going through the streets and ending up at the bridge to run across it's such a well-made campaign just like the rest of them but while traversing the streets i grabbed my last melee weapon i needed which was the police baton and whacked an enemy for the achievement club dead for using every type of melee weapon in one of the next sections we had to navigate an impound lot full of active vehicles that will alarm more zombies and luckily Luckily, we got past them without alerting a single one and ended up getting an achievement. Well, I have another one, but hey, navigate the impound lot and reach, I think, without alerting a witch. And now it comes down to the finale. It seems like there's always a trend of either weird stuff happening. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? Wait, that was from yesterday, from two days ago or just catastrophic events, which luckily for you viewers, both happened in this finale. I would make the grave mistake of saying, every man for themselves, all right? <laughs> and you know what my teammates did? They took that to heart and just left my ass in the dust. Fellas, I have to have the achievement too. Oh. Where's the, what the fuck? What the hell? Fellas, if I don't survive, this I have to do this again. <laughs> We're, this is bad. <laughs> so not only do I have to replay this whole campaign over again, but I just wasted 30 minutes of my life doing jack shit. And I was told constantly that, oh no, Yoma, you'll be fine. Just replay the ending sequence again. And I just had a bad feeling about this. So I decided to speedrun the ending sequence and guess what happened next. Oh, wait, I... Yeah, who would have guessed that would happen? So I did what every other person would do. I let my Left 4 Dead 2 speedrunner friend speedrun the hell out of the parish just so I can beat this campaign fast. He used his bee hopping skills, destroyed every zombie, and carried my ass to victory so I would get the achievements for completing all the base game campaigns on Expert and completing the parish overall. RIP Apollo, RIP Slayer. Yes, let's go, baby. Oh my God god and then boom oh my god i can't believe we had to do that all over again now it's time to do the last stand campaign on expert realism and while playing through the short campaign we all unlocked the secret achievement for a hiding spot put on by the developers the finale for this campaign was easily the hardest one i've ever done and I'm not exaggerating. You must stay at a lighthouse, fill up and repair a generator, and just survive constantly. It was an epic battle from start to finish, that's for sure. This finale by itself took me and my crew over an hour to just finally complete it. Finales go one of two ways. Either you sweep the board and escape freely, or you get the tail end and wind up with devastation. I'm coming! Go, 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 go! There's a big rock! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! What the fuck? No! What? No! What? Just said what? 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 My mind just got all tabbed! No! You're joking! What? Where did I get hit? Did he literally throw a rock and I got hit somehow? Okay, okay, so after the horrible loss, I would skeet on a hunter, and then we would finally have the best run of our lives. If you can defend me, man, I'm gonna run it. Hit me up, hit me up. Thank you, thank you. I only got a pistol, I'm running. We're going. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. I better not get fucking sniped. Please to God. Oh my God. Bro. That was crazy. Oh my God, Bull. Thank you for the sacrifice. Oh my God. 0.7%. This has been out for years, right? Oh my god, it took us an hour and a half. Oh my god. 
After playing serious mode for hours on end, I thought it would be an amazing time to pull out another community play session for achievements and just for the fun of it. While playing through Dead Air for some specific achievements, I found out that I suck extremely bad with the special infected, but I landed an achievement for spitting goo on each survivor in one shot, and after managing to make it to the finale in Dead Air, one of the achievements we got was for forming a team and beating an enemy team in a 4v4 team versus mode, which is not regular versus mode but another mode for team versus god it's so dumb also just like left 4 dead 1 the achievements become really annoying because they are so specific on what you have to do to the point where even though this game is still popular with the community it becomes a nightmare trying to set up a scenario for a lot of these achievements if that makes sense. It's just a pain in the ass for your average gamer and achievement hunter, which is why I'm grateful for my community and friends that helped me grind these achievements out. I do apologize for a lot of these achievements because I started to diversify my unlocks randomly. Like our next one was to speed run the last stand campaign in under 13 minutes without anybody dying. And having some awesome speedrunner friends, we ran through this sucker so fast, got the achievement, and we beat it in nine minutes. Nine? minutes. Damn, we were booking it. Which now, we are finally continuing a 4v4 versus match for random achievements, fun, and those specific achievements too. In our first match, I fell for one of the oldest tricks in the book, and I'm ashamed to show you. Okay, I feel like they're going to do some crazy shit on us with their ping. During this fun time, I grabbed one last achievement for the night for smacking a charger while I was charging. I just want to give you all a fair warning. My third day of streaming started with 31 achievements and ended out with 71 in one full stream session. I was not messing around this time because we started up our versus mode and got the work fast. First, I killed a survivor instantly as a charger and carried them over 80 feet through this window for an epic kill. I spat on a survivor that was being choked by a smoker, which then I repeated this two more times by spitting on a survivor pinned by a hunter and slammed by a charger. I was also using Steam's new note-taking feature to keep track on every single achievement. It's a rad feature you should use for real. I bowled through my survivor friends like bowling pins for the scattering ram achievement. Ugh. I bowled through my survivor friends like bowling pins for the scattering ram achievement. I used the jockey next to ride a survivor for more than 12 seconds, twice in one life, and rode a survivor over a spitter's acid patch. I soon became a hunter and tried to land a 25 max damage onto a survivor, but man, I kept missing a lot. Okay, here we go. Oh, fuck. But finally, I hit my target and got the one-hit wonder achievement. As a survivor, I cut a smoker's tongue before it grabbed me. I used a charger to grab a survivor and knock over eight chairs at a wedding. And then I kept the same survivor and pummeled his ass for a solid 15 seconds. And I wasn't lying that these achievements are so specific because who the hell would be doing this randomly, you know? But carrying on, we headed over to another game mode called Scavenge, where it's all about seeing which team can use the most gas cans to fill up a generator. And that's pretty much it. So I made a survivor drop a gas can during overtime and made a full team not collect any gas cans. And while playing around, I decapitated 200 infected zombies with melee weapons. I earned a bronze medal on my first official survival map. I knocked eight 18 heads off with a golf club. I collected 10 items from fallen survivors. I opened five foot lockers. No, not the shoe store. I played a new Midnight Rider song on a jukebox. I finished a campaign extremely fast with only melee weapons. And at the same time, I did beat the passing campaign for the first time. I collected 15 gas cans in a single scavenge round. I went stealth mode and vomited on a survivor without me seeing them. I destroyed 20 gas cans at a spitter altogether. I won my first game of scavenge. Then I caught 25 gas cans to be dropped as a special infected. I collected 100 gas cans in scavenge. I played five full games of scavenge on the port for some reason. I ran all three generators at once in the sacrifice finale, which is just another duplicate from Left 4 Dead 1. And I got Tank Burger for killing a tank with a melee weapon. Kill Bill for sacrificing Bill in the sacrifice campaign. Using a special infected to incapacitate a survivor sacrificing themselves. And Heartwarmer for defibrillating a dead teammate after leaving a safe room. 
<sighs> and we're still not done yet. I finally played through Dead Air from start to finish in a versus game. I earned a silver and gold medal. Nice. On any official survival map, I survived 10 minutes on any official survival map. And finally, I killed 15 zombies with a single shot from a grenade launcher. Jesus Christ, that was a lot, man. Phew. But okay, you saw the achievement pop-ups and requirements, so I did my job correctly. Yay. And we're still not done. Now, all right, the pain of this game's achievements do not get easier. I need to call out the elephant in the room. No, not good guy Nick just yet. I'm talking about the 43 survival maps that I must survive in for not just four minutes or seven, but 10 minutes each. I have to play each and every single survival map for 430 minutes. And if my calculations are correct, that is equal to 7.16 hours minimum. Like you can't do anything faster. You cannot speed up the process or cheese it quickly. You just have to bear the time and suck it up. And on top of that, that doesn't even include all the failed attempts that I went through, which was easily in the 20s. So now it's more like 10 hours. Honestly, these survival achievements suck. The a little hack and slash for bronze, like lambs to the slaughter for silver, and finally killing spree for the gold medals. <sighs> God, this game was really, really painful. But for my next achievement, I had to survive 30 minutes on any of the maps as well. So I did a little cheese strat by glitching through a door and standing still. Call me all the bad names you want, but by this point, I was already grinding survival maps off camera, which made me lose all hope in humanity, so I don't want to hear any complaints. But as I was saying, I took a shower while my dude Ellis was chilling in the corner, and he unlocked the achievement for me. I decided to ramp up the miscellaneous unlocks by starting with playing six different mutations. Then I got a medal in survival by only using melee weapons. I killed 10 swamp ass mudmen while they were in the water. I collected 10 vials of boomer bile from CEDA agents. I killed a tank with only damage from the original cast. I used the M60 by holding down the trigger and going full Rambo mode. I killed a special infected with an exploding barrel, which I think is another Left 4 Dead 1 repeat. And then before getting on stream, I loaded up another Steam workshop map just for grinding zombie kills and just farm their asses for a while. This process crashed my game a few times, but by the end of it, I landed the good old Z Genocidus 2 episode 2 achievement. Please, God, will these achievements stop being collected. <sighs> so, with this stream, my whole plan was just to play through all 43 survival maps. Like, all of them. I streamed for eight and a half hours, no lie, just doing survival maps after survival maps after survival maps. I don't want to hear or see any more zombies after this. Also, while I was playing through the 43 survival maps, I did unlock a few achievements along the way. Uh. I unlocked one for killing 20 jockeys with a shovel or pitchfork because they are ugly and annoying. I was also collecting these new golden crowbars that are scattered around each Left 4 Dead 1 survival map. Nothing too crazy, but probably a reference to Half-Life or something. But after many golden crowbars later, I got my final one. And during the same survival map, I revived 10 down teammates with an adrenaline shot. And then I finally brought back 10 survivors from the dead with a defib. But after eight and a half hours of just mindlessly numbing my brain and losing brain cells killing zombies over and over, I finally landed the achievement for getting a bronze medal on all maps. And then three minutes later, I got the silver medal on all maps. And man. Man, oh man, the big achievement for getting a gold medal or 10 minutes on all 43 maps for the killing spree achievement. And then after the survival maps, I did a quick swap with my Christmas gatekeeping ways. This means I can never give the achievement away unless I relock this install and relock the achievement. I gotta do what I gotta do. And now that I did this, a viewer of mine also got the game back in Christmas time 2013. So all we did was start up Crash Course, beat it, and bada bing bada boom, I got an extremely rare achievement. Oh my god. Today is the final, final day of Left 4 Dead 2's achievements. But wait, Yoba, what about that unattainable achievement you mentioned at the beginning of the video? I do know of this achievement, and I'll explain later in the video what it's all about and why I just don't give a damn. Well, you nerd, the achievement you're talking about is good guy Nick, and unfortunately, it's just unobtainable to the highest degree. I'm not going to unlock this by cheating and just gonna leave it locked. That's pretty much it. 
we have to wait until another free to play weekend happens. So technically I can't 100% this game, but if you're like me, you probably don't give a shit and will still count it as a 100% because achievements like these are dumb as hell. And I'm here to make an entertaining video and not care about semantics. You get me? Cool, let's move on. As I said before, this would be my final time playing Left 4 Dead 2. I loaded up the game, got a squad going, and went after the last 12 achievements. First, we would complete the Sacrifice campaign, which was extremely short and fast. Then we would play the Cold Stream campaign as well, which was also extremely fast and short. I would rescue three survivors from one closet, then I would burn a clown into 10 zombies for an achievement, which led me to prove I'm stronger than Mustachio by hitting this Test Your Might challenge for an achievement, and additionally, I would get to prove you are faster than Mustachio by playing Whack-A-Mole, and we would survive Dark Carnival's concert finale by staying on the stage until the helicopter arrives, and this time we were actually bringing Gnomi the homie home with us for the Guardian Gnome achievement. We would slaughter a witch with sharp melee weapons only for the new haircut achievement, Achievement. We would also defend ourselves in the crash airliner sequence without taking damage, and then we replayed Dead Center's finale to escape before a single tank appears. And finally, everybody, you get to witness the last and 100th achievement by blasting this witch to space and one of the best arcade zombie shooters out there in Left 4 Dead 2. Zero point nine percent shotgun wedding chat. We are done with Left 4 Dead 2. If you all happen to enjoy this, make sure to check out my last Call of Duty Ghost video and make sure to subscribe, like, and come on over to my Twitch channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.